Hello friends, this is Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for the day, 28th of July 2022. I am recording this particular uh, presentation uh, before the Fed event. Tonight we have uh, the Fed, Fed Reserve uh, Committee giving up their Fed uh, rate as well as the uh, outlook for the markets. So that is going to have a huge impact uh, even in our uh, Indian market. Uh, we do expect that the consensus of the Fed meeting will be uh, remaining the same as the estimated 0.75% uh, hike. And uh, the outlook uh, would be promising. That is what usually the Fed chair used to uh, give as a statement uh, that everything uh, will be sorted out and everything will be under control. So we do not expect any major uh, difference of opinion in that. We expect the status quo from the Fed chair in the statement. So uh, with this particular outlook, uh, I'm just giving you my analysis on Nifty. Nifty has, uh, as expected uh, in the last video, we said that uh, we are expecting uh, from when when it stays bottom to recover. And this is what exactly happened. Uh, we had uh, recovered uh, heavily from the bottom of this particular uh, day session. We had seen approximately 200 points of uh, upside coming up in Nifty. And uh, the same was followed in uh, Bank Nifty, wherein we had seen uh, heavy buying or uh, aggressive buying as was witnessed across uh, the indices uh, throughout the day in Wednesday's uh, session. So considering the Fed uh, event that is there, uh, we will be overreacting to whatever uh, news flows that comes in. So tomorrow would be a day wherein now uh, we are expected to have the proper trend post one hour of uh, opening. That is where we will come to know exactly whether the buying is going to continue or uh, the selling that we have started uh, witnessing right from Monday onwards is going to continue on the downside. So the important uh, uh, key levels that we are going to watch out for uh, Thursday's sessions are 16,560 on the downside, 16,569 on the downside, 16,722 on the upside. So we believe that uh, whichever uh, key levels are going to be broken intraday, that is where most of the time the next move is going to come up uh, in the when first day's session. So these are the two important key levels that we are watching out for this Thursday expiry session. 16,569 on the downside, 16,722 on the upside. This is with regards to the Nifty. Now moving ahead with the Bank Nifty analysis. Bank Nifty analysis. Bank Nifty has closed exactly at the high point of that particular uh, day which is almost similar to that of the Friday session. So if you were to look at last Friday's uh, move, it was much similar to like that has happened uh, on the Wednesday's session. So it was most or most likely an identical move that we had seen on last Friday as well as yesterday Wednesday session. Now, we, we were holding up our uh, view that uh, as long as we do not take out 37,060 on the upside, uh, wherein which we are going to see a huge resistance in terms of the bank nifty is concerned. So we need to take out this particular 37,060. We still have the headroom for bank nifty to move upwards. Uh, that needs to be taken out for the next uh, couple of thousand point move that is going to take place in bank nifty, which most likely seems a question unless and until the, the huge uh, positive sentiment comes overnight from the global market. We are watching out for 37,060 as a very crucial uh, resistance with regards to the bank if he is concerned. Now moving ahead with our uh, long shot uh, model that we have created, again would like to remind that this is just an educational purpose model that we have created. Uh, this is not a professional recommendation of uh, taking a long or short position in NFT or uh, in bank NFT. And uh, if you would like to join our professional recommendation or trade alert services, 
Nifty and Bank Nifty, then please do join our uh, professional services. I'm giving the details in the description box. With regards to the model, yes, you know that uh, we are still holding on to the short of this particular model as per this particular model in Nifty with the stop loss at 16,720 on the upside. So this is still remains so the sell on rise uh, setup that is seen in Nifty. With regards to the Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty has never turned uh, bearish and uh, it's still holding on to the long position that we have accumulated somewhere around 35,300 and still holding long with the revised stop loss of 36,190. So the stop loss remains the same for the last three sessions at 36,190, does not change. So we need to get a close below 36,190 for the bank Nifty to turn bearish. So looking at uh, the Nifty and the bank Nifty in the long short model, uh, both the indices are giving a diff different mixed uh, uh, out view, which means that uh, we need to wait for both the indices to come up with the general consensus. Though, as I said earlier, we need to take each indices uh, independently because every every chart is unique and uh, every uh, trade is based on that particular respective indices only. So this is it for this particular day. We will be connecting after. Uh, a huge uh, blow up news. Thursday's session is very important uh, in terms of it will begin with the uh, news flow from the global markets. And uh, as we move towards that particular raw day's session, it's an expiry day too. So you brace for more uh, volatility in the Thursday's session. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay connected. We will share the next video tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for, for watching this video.